Hi, this is Steve Dale, and I'm the trustee of the Golden State Pool Trust. In this segment, I want to talk about CalABLE as a work enhancement tool. Now, you might remember we had talked earlier about the different types of income for folks that are on SSI. And today we're going to focus on earned income, which is and the basic rule is that um, any wages, royalties, net earnings from self-employment, honorarium, or any uh, payment made for services rendered will reduce your SSI benefits $1 for every $2 you earn after the first $65. So let's just see how this plays out. Jason, who has a disability from birth, is now 25 years old and is receiving SSI. His goal is to enter the workforce and eventually no longer be dependent on benefits. To assist him, his parents set up a CalABLE account and contribute the maximum $15,000 a year to that account. Jason receives SSI and is eligible for $954.72, which is the maximum amount the most SSI recipients receive in California uh, here in 2021. Jason takes a job and earns $1,200 a month. His earnings reduces SSI $1 for every $2 he earns after the first $65 or a reduction in $567. So his SSI after the reduction is going to be $337.72, which means his monthly income is now a total of $1,557.72. So even with the reduction, Jason will net $603 more than he had had he uh, not worked. He would like to save $800 a month for his future and add that to his CalABLE account. Now without the CalABLE account, the problem has always been the resource limitation of $2,000 in resources, which is the limit for SSI recipients and for many folks that are on Medi-Cal. With a CalABLE account, he can contribute the funds to, to his CalABLE account and remain below the $2,000 SSI resource limit. Now note that contributing earnings to a CalABLE account does not prevent it from being accountable income for benefit purposes. So we're talking about contributions after the reduction has been made. Remember, in this scenario, Jason's parents have already contributed $15,000 to Jason's CalABLE account. So is he out of luck? And the answer is no. Under the CalABLE to Work program, uh, he's permitted uh, here, uh, uh, if he's working here, to contribute above the $15,000 contribution limit if they do not participate in an employer-sponsored retirement plan. So he contribute whichever is less, either an amount equal to his annual gross limit or whatever the federal poverty level is for that year. In 2021, that's $12,760. So he could so the CalABLE account could go uh, have contributions between the $15,000 annual contribution and the working amount here up to $27,760 a year. Therefore, despite his parents' annual contribution, Jason can contribute up to $12,760 of earnings on top of his parents' annual $15,000 contribution to his CalABLE account. 